Hip hop is the most universal culture that has ever to grace the face of the earth and it will continue to be. I go by Immaculate, AKA EDMC, AKA Emac, AKA just plain E, whatever you comfortable with, man, whatever suits you fancy. Immaculate, back once again. Uh, I'm a Midwest boy, man. I, I grew up and born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. It's a real complex city, to say the least, but that's my home, man. You know, my love for hip hop runs deep. With me being an MC, I feel like I bring that core lyricism back to the forefront of hip hop, you know, being able to literally rock the crowd. I put lyricism to the forefront. I make sure that I can rap about a grain of salt and make you want to go and, and raise your blood you know pressure. I to make a hater sound. Keeping me on my I realized one way to identify quickly with the people that I encountered was letting them know that I rap. They always wanted to hear me. And then from that point, it grew on to me, you know, developing a love for it myself. Both my brothers rap, so I used to, you know, look up to them growing up, watching both of them spit. From that point on, man, as far as MCing, I, I just got bit by the rhyme bug. I went to my first battle in Detroit. I won at 13, and now it's just being an immaculate MC. Agitated. The game's a map. Watch how smooth, how I navigate it. Had these haters signed, sealed, delivered, and laminated. Uh, well, after leaving Detroit, you know, with the life that I had there, I went straight to Cali. The main motivation was, you know, my brothers, you know, getting locked up in the pen, man. They received two pretty hefty penitentiary sentences, and that really let me know exactly where my future could possibly end up. So I had two choices. Me being a, a, a proud promoter of the 215 law, I chose California. We all, we all know what California is world renowned for. <coughs> Give me a eight me or the tasty, don't shake me, compress and lace me. If it's late, they catch me lately. In the morning, wake and bake me with the sleep. I met a guy named Mateo. He heard me at a open mic spot. And you know, he was telling me about how he was a music manager. I wasn't really trying to have a manager. I was doing it all independent, yada yada, but he really was persistent. After about a couple of years of going through it, we met a guy named Josh. And he was like, hey, I want to bring you to the studio. I didn't even know how to write a verse. I didn't know 16 was 16. I was counting a four bar verse out in eight. So I had all 32 so when I came in the booth Josh was amazed he was like Is that two verses in one I'm like no it's one verse you know it's 16 bars and when we counted it out it was actually 32 bars so you know he taught me a lot about structuring my verses down we did eventually do about 20 or 30 songs I mean it was just history from that point on Josh came across somebody who was looking to invest in a hip-hop artist I was looking for someone that had that they had passion that could change the world that's viral because I believe music can make people feel a different way, and that's what Bright Life is all about. Bright is the man, man. I mean, you know, first and foremost, I like the fact that he was willing to be open-minded enough to give a real MC the opportunity to invest in somebody who was still making quality music. thing for the future is being able to introduce the newer and the older hip-hop fans back to a higher quality of lyricism in hip-hop and I, I want to break down some of the barriers that's been set for hip-hop like hip-hop has to be this or hip-hop has to be that and you have to have a certain background or a certain representation I'm from the streets but I'm an intelligent person whatever I choose to focus my mind on as long as I put that immaculate effort into it it's going it's to come out as a, a, a quality piece of material Pro wings like some bands, stacking cans in the glass and the bottles in the bag. Act a nigga for a dollar, man, I ain't too proud to ask. We was just young and misguided, but some people called us bad. Come to school, flossing money, jacking nigga in the class. I don't okay, nah. It's still up in me, she's way down. I still step up with it cranks when I walk third grade style. Since a kid, I ain't play around. If you ain't fucking with the bar, then you can play on my playground. Bye.